Welcome back. For more than a year, Fox 5 has been bringing you cutting edge stories as part of our Big Idea series. Right, tonight we're taking a look at what future generations are doing in the world of science and technology. In our first Big Idea Junior Report, Dan Bone shows us how some young students are breaking ground in robotics. I think knowing that like we created something is just mind boggling. It's very cool how huh? coming here every day, waiting for school ends, like, oh, right, let's go build robots. From the same workbenches of a high school shop class, <laughs> this is what the next generation is building. I did mostly like the wheels and the chassis. Junior Ashley Ortega, part of the Newtown High School Robot Club. We're here every day from like 3.30 to 7.30. They call themselves the technotics. People in the electricity have to talk to people in the programming. People in the programming have to talk to mechanical. And people in mechanical have to talk to media. And then we all have to work together to make sure that this comes together. The Queen's students working to build this robot for the last six weeks for an upcoming tournament at the Javits Center hosted by an organization called FIRST. FIRST is geared toward inspiring young people interested in science and technology, an important fit for many students these days. They were actually born into it and uh, you know they're very comfortable with it. The competition is like a varsity sport of the mind. Teams receive points when the robots controlled by students like Chris Sanchez pick up and stack containers. It's intense, all the pressure is on me. Everybody is looking down on me at that Javits is waiting for that win. Just like, come on Chris, you can do it, you can do it. He'll have to do it against some stiff competition from an up and coming Yonkers team. So I like to call robotics the cool branch of science uh, and math. Theodore Kim is captain of the Yonkers High School Mecha Dogs. They were created just two years ago. Well, a completed robot I see like like, you know, like your child right there. It's, we spent six weeks, like every single day after school, work on this robot. I guess cool is a good way to put it. It has become cool. Teacher Adam Tiason says what students are learning here stretches well beyond any classroom. Using robotics as a, as a vehicle, as a platform, to, to truly teach kids the integration of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Clubs like these also inspiring young women like Ida Mahovic and Hillary Frank to break down gender barriers in a field traditionally dominated by men. I feel like I'm sort of in this tidal wave, and I, I, I'm not like going against it. Like I'm definitely like in, embracing it, and I definitely want to be a part of this new revolution. It gives me, like, it opens so many opportunities for me in the future. From those same rooms where generations of young students have tinkered. We're on the cusp of like a, a new, new era with robotics, and I hope to be the, one of the people who are able to drive that forward. Driving their ideas toward the future. Dan Bowen, Fox 5 News.